Hello YouTube. So, in this video I'm going to be changing this window. One window frame. This window's come from woodenwindows.com. A bit of a pig's ear of opening that. No Ziggy, Ziggy. This one is called Amsterdam Green. It's a really nice dark green. It's almost got a bit of blue in it as well. Quite a dark, classy looking green, I think. That's for the exterior of the window. The interior of the window, I've got light pink, turpentine. I need to mix some raw linseed oil in with that too before putting it on. I absolutely must follow the instructions. 50% paint, 35% raw linseed oil, 15% turpentine. That seems straightforward enough. This is the window in my bedroom which needs replacing and as you can see it's uh, this window is just it's absolutely sopping and it's constantly like that it's a condensation cast iron windows put together and they sail into the brick quite a lot they're way too big really for being there but the other problem is all this condensation it's not too bad at the moment but it's usually just dripping and it makes it wet with all the condensation around there and you can see that it's just it's just a bit of a pain because I can't open these windows either. So, and also 
another thing is I'm going to have to drop this down um, this is old, old, made of old flower bars and I painted this and it's actually this on here is actually lime and brick dust it makes that quite nice pink I just had a bit of a play around doing that and uh, my curtains just held up with a couple of G comps which seems to do the trick quite nicely actually okay so I best get this taken out we're into the afternoon so I need to get a bit of a shimmy on I'll probably have to drop that down and need to move all this is the window from the outside I've bodged it in but it's previously been bodged in as well put it together to get me going but it goes right in at the sides here so it's just it's never going to work really without changing the size of the frames so that's that and then it looks like it's originally been from there across to further down and then someone's made it higher so it would have been a bit more like that one some mold. You can really see how wet it all is from the condensation running down. The wood fibre is pretty damp and it's all also starting to go mouldy but it's been dealing with it quite well. Oh it's saturated. Absolutely soaking. Oh. knock these out and try and copy um, how they should be, put something like that above it whilst I'm at this point I'm going to drill those up and then sit it down a bit lower than I thought I think it'll be a better job so it looks a bit, a bit crap how it's been done this one's not much better either bodged
Uh, I've made a mistake that uh, that threshold or sill or whatever is meant to stick out so I'm gonna have to pull that off. Rich has uh, said you can just pull it off and stick another one on so that's what I shall do. <laughs> ne never do things right do I? But it's gonna look pretty cool. Gonna have to take it out because it needs to go across at the bottom left. Quite excited to take this off. There we go. Oh, look at that! Oh. That's fantastic. Oh, it's a proper window. <laughs> Just obviously needs to. Cut that off down there now. Some more crap out. Oh, it's marvellous. Very pleased with that. So there it is. Um, obviously got this to do, got it to paint, and then the outside bits to do. I've just temporarily put that together. I've got, got the top bricks to do, got the bottom mix to do, got it to seal in. <laughs> There's Ziggy. <laughs> Checking it out. And then pointing, I can't remember what my uh, lime mortar matches and I wrote it down somewhere, I need to find it. Um, but yeah, it's going to start running out of light soon, but I'm really chuffed with that. And maybe a little bit of touching up to do, but I think that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.